I get off work and this sack of shit says this. See? Name tag, everything. You're an asshole. Let's get to it. No music, no anything. Let's get to it. Uh, Snow Carl to me a dollar fifty says in light of yesterday, I think Fuck you, Snow Carl. Stop tipping this shack of shit. This sack of shit. It would be good if you clarified what tippers are legally obliged to ask for in return for their contributions. You think a tipper should be able to demand you fulfill your promises no matter what, is, is, or is a shout out enough? Uh, nothing at all. Fuck you, Phil. Nothing at all? You don't... You listen to me, you sack of shit. I work for tips. I clean tables. You sit there and bitch and moan and have your little stupid little tips goal that you put up that says a dollar to 50 to 150 and all that stuff. You know, I work for $13, uh, you know, $5 plus tips. I don't go to any table and say, oh, I got tip low. Oh, my, my hours are being cut. Tip me harder. Because you know what? That's not my job. And you come in heart in hand. Have that little stupid little fucking tips goal that you sit there and you actually go like, tip me, guys, tip me. You don't deserve a tip. You deserve nothing, actually. Your streams are garbage. You let people sit there for 15 to an hour to two hours literally listening to this shit. Thanks for the subscribe. But listening, just fucking listening to you about how much you, you spend this money on booze and gotcha. Pathetic. You're pathetic. I just got off work. Sunday night. Football. The Cowboys won. The Cowboys won. The Cardinals are undefeated. And here you are saying, oh, uh, uh, I need the money. It's rude. You're rude. And you not tipping your drivers for fucking DoorDash, you not doing any of this shit, and you not doing what these tippers are asking you to do, it's gratuity. And you don't see it that way because you're an asshole. And I, you know, I go to work and I put my best work in there. I clean the tables as best as I can, as fast as I can. And you, you just want to bring yourself your little smelly little fucking ass and sit yourself down in that captain's chair and, ooh, Oh, uh, guys, I'm here. I'm going to talk for a little bit. Fuck you, Bluto. Fuck everything you do. Fuck your streams. Fuck you and everything you do. Absolutely not. It's a gratuity. It's a gratuity. And you treat it like it's demand. You demand tips. You demand people. I don't go to the tables. We expect the best out of people. We expect them to tip us. We don't demand because it's rude. You're rude. If we do a good job and everyone does a good job, we get tipped. And if we, and then sometimes we do a very, very good job and they leave us maybe five bucks, maybe five bucks, maybe nothing. And then sometimes you do a shitty job or something and they give you more money. But you, you do a shitty job and you expect 150 per stream. You never look at it and go like, you know what? I had a bad night. That's okay. But you all, you demand 150. You demand this money, you sack of shit. You demand you being tipped. You should tip me. Hey, you should tip me. You are good enough at your job and you're not. You're not, you sack of shit. You're not good enough at your job. You would. You would understand that, but you're not good at your job. You're not good at your job. You're terrible at it. All right. I think that there needs to be some clarification. Clarifications. Right. If you are watching anyone's stream. This is not just me. This is anyone on the internet. You're watching someone's stream, okay? And that person okay. is providing free content to you. Free? You willingly decide you want to contribute to said stream. Mm -hmm. or contribute to help out this person who's giving yep. me free stuff. Here you go. That's where that relationship ends. There is no commitment what? of anything. It is not a Kickstarter where you are. What the fuck? No, no. What the fuck? Fuck off. It doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. It begins there. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're a fucking failure. You're a failure. Get out. Get get the fuck out of my. Go away.
You're a failure. You're, uh, uh, uh. The relationship doesn't end there. You build a relationship. You make sure that the customer is happy. You know, you go there and you say, hey, how was the food tonight? Hey, how are you? Hey, you know, oh, my, my potatoes are cold. Okay, uh, I'll get you a new, you know, we'll reheat you new potatoes, all that stuff. Hey, what do you think of your steak? I asked for well done. I got medium. Okay, I'll fix that for you. This motherfucker can't be in service or food service because he would literally yell at these people and tell them to go fuck themselves. Fuck you, DSP. Fuck everything about you about this. Does it end there? You build on that relationship. You build on those people that are tipping you. You build on the clientele that comes in. You want them to come back. You want them to come back. But you know what? You know what? Who cares about about you and your fucking streams and all that stuff? You don't you you do what you do and you'll be out of business by next year. I know, I know. You've been in business for the last 14 years insulting people and doing this and tips and all that stuff because people think you're successful. You're a failure. You're a failure. And if you open up your own restaurant, you would know how much of a failure you'll be. Grand opening, grand closing. You're a fucking failure. Are supporting that content and now you're expecting to get something concrete in return. It is not a transactional purchase where you're buying something with your transaction. That's not what happens at all. People have crazy misconceptions about online content creation and ways to support it and what that means and what that entails. Okay. It's that's you are not buying something when you contribute to a content creator or streamer. You're not buying something when you donate to a content or streamer. Well, that's not partially true. A sub on Twitch is buying something. A membership is buying something. It's a service. You don't treat it as that. You don't treat it, you, you look at this and go, I'm here, give me money. You're supposed, see, this is a thing that you never got. It's not how long the stream is, how much money you get, because I can work eight hours and make a lot of money, or I can work eight hours and make a little bit of money. It depends. It really depends, jackass. And that's the problem. You look at this, you can go like, I'm here, give me my 150. You never work for it. You never do anything. At, my, at any restaurant, it is a team effort, a team effort to do what, what we do, you know, to the cooks, to the busters, to the servers, to the people that are cooking the food, sending out the food, all that shit. It's a team effort. The host who's seating the, the people. All that shit. It's a team effort. And the tips get divvied up uh, accordingly. You know, I get a share. They get a share. You know, and that's that's the thing. You don't see it that way. You don't see it as uh, you you really do this like a bank. You don't do this like a restaurant. So you sit there and you go, I demand the money, guys. Guys, I need money. Guys, I need money. Please tip. Please tip. Please tip. Please tip. You're a rude bastard. You really are a rude bastard. You you just really are. And it worked for you because on Twitch, because they let they allowed it. And YouTube allows it. But you know what? They really shouldn't allow you saying that. Please tip. I need tips, guys. Because it goes th straight to WWE champions. And I'm not saying whoever what happens with your money stays with your money. You can't even do the shower thing and everything about you, about these tips that I I'm going to say it, it's been a little bit is gross. Everything about this, these tips that you do is gross. You're not. It doesn't even matter if they say, oh, you get this in return for this. You get this in return. That's not the case. You are you are essentially saying, I like what you're doing. I'm going to tip you for something you're already doing that I like. OK, that's what you're doing. Yeah, but here's the other problem, too. You say, I should tip you, but you want people to keep tipping you. You want people to tip you even if you're not doing a good job. You just want tips. Not everyone's going to have money every day, Phil. You're lucky that you hit the tips goal for every day for the last six months during the vest goal. And that was impressive. That was too impressive. And 
And WWE Champions time was probably through the roof. And you spent all that money on WWE Champions with the vest. You lucked into that. Because your, your fucking uh, wheelchair army really liked the vest. They were like, oh my god, a vest. You're an asshole. If you Pluto. Doing it for any other reason, you are wrong. You are doing it wrong. And you're misunderstanding the relationship you have with that content creator. Okay? You know what? He can go fuck himself. You don't want relationships with people. You really don't. You don't want any relationships with people. You literally come out of, come out of hand and go, I don't want to be your friend. I don't even want to be anything. That's the problem with you, Phil. You never, ever want to have relationships with these people. As someone that's in the food service industry, that you meet people, you talk to people, you're supposed to build on those relationships. To you, the buck stops with the money. When That's why you see Jack Traxer every Friday and go, he's a walking, talking uh, money bag. Because to you, he is a walking, talking money bag. Content creators basically are online performers. We're in front of a camera, and we're putting out a product for hundreds, if not thousands of people on a day. Not some people that put out a product for hundreds of thousands of people. Some people are out there hustling and putting on a stream to no one. You know who I'm talking about. You don't because you got lucky. The minute you turn on the stream, you had thousands of people going like, Hey, DSP. Hey, DSP. I love what you're doing, DSP. Oh, my God. I love you. Your cock is so big, DSP. Oh, my God. Everything's so great, DSP. Oh, my God. Yeah. No. Uh, for, uh, for Toba's stupid. And Fatoba Games and Fatop, whatever his name is. Oh, uh, yeah, he's he should uh, totally told you that the PC was busted, DSP. The service you give is absolute garbage. The service you give is absolute garbage. I wouldn't want to come into your restaurant. Daily basis. Right now on this stream, I got about 215 people so far watching on the pre-stream. Over the course of the stream, arguably 500 to 1,000 unique viewers will probably watch this stream. I Maybe on Dark Dave Mirrors, but not on your stream, because you're an asshole. I am trying to entertain you. <laughs> Try to entertain. Oh, that's, that's, that's great, Phil. Real great. Try to entertain. With discussion with gameplay <clears throat> whatever it may be hey guys you want to check out this wonderful discussion gameplay oh uh, i'm not getting very far on the stage and i'm completely covered in sweat i'm gonna have to take all this stuff off guys i am like I'm, yeah he's completely covered in sweat right now i'm so i'm soaked what the fuck fall out oh ready Go. I'm taking it off for a bit. <laughs> I'm taking it off for a bit since I'm soaked in sweat. I want to see if I can focus and beat this stage. Okay. Kevin Brosey, can you put the your vest back on? Wanted to plat that. Want it plat today? Hmm. Ready. Kevin. All right, here it's Kevin Bernstein. Phil, don't ignore this. Wear the hat and plat. Oh, plat best. I see. What's 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 point of tip goal if you renege on your promise? If it's for heat, then turn on AC or fan. If you don't have one, then let me send you one. Address. <laughs> okay, Kevin. Kevin's like, no. Kevin's like, ah, I ain't fucking having this. You're doing a super chat now. You're screaming about the fucking hat and vest. Did I not talk about it on stream or were you not here? Like, seriously. I was sweating profusely. My back right now is... Hey, Kevin, maybe you should come to a, a stream that actually respects you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It'll probably bother you, though. It'll probably body you. But you can come over. Completely soaked in sweat. I'm trying to play an incredibly difficult game. Maybe for once, just relax for a fucking second. And allow me to try to beat this very, very, very... Okay, Dad. It, also, DSP. Doesn't get easier from here, you bastard. 
a very difficult stage and stop screaming about the hat and vest and relax and have a good time with the stream. The content of the stream is not man in hat and vest. It's Phil playing games. All right, relax. I don't know why you're so hot and bothered about no hat and vest. This is not the hat and vest hour. This is Phil playing an incredibly tough monkey ball game and doing his absolute best to try to beat this stage legit and not skip it. Right? <laughs> Holy crap. I don't see, I really, I mean, just being honest here, I don't know what the big deal is. Like, I always wear the hat and vest every stream when it's earned, right? Every stream, I, I wear it. Today, I'm making an exception because I was completely covered in sweat. And this is like the third Ready? super chat you've done screaming about the hat and vest. Like, what is going on with you? Why are you being like this? You know why, Phil. I, I, you know, it would be nice to have an answer. Like, what's going on with you? You're, you're freaking out here tonight. And now I can't even, look, now I can't even concentrate. Ready? Now I seriously can't even fucking concentrate on the stage, all right? Now relax. Fucking relax. Kevin again is asking for the vest. Okay, I gotta ask. I gotta be honest with Kevin. Kevin, you noticed something, right? You're the only person on the stream talking about this. You realize this, right? You're literally the only person who's bringing it up. <laughs> I don't understand why it's such a big deal to you. But what is the big deal with the vest? Like, really? I wear the vest all the time. Almost every fucking stream ever that we hit the tips go, I wear it, no problem. It's not an issue. Tonight's a problem because I was covered in sweat. I'm doing an incredibly difficult game. Why is this a big deal? Why are you still asking about it? Like, you're the only one. I just don't get it. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on a big loss. You notice I also haven't been up, up, updating the Super Chats? A lot of Super Chats are coming in. I'm shouting them out, but I'm not updating the leaderboard. Why? Because I'm playing the game. I'm trying to, to progress and, and, and make progress here in the game. So you notice you, that, Phil. Right? You notice no one's complaining about that, right? You notice that, right? No one's complaining. Everyone's like, okay. You did give 10 bucks. You should put it back on, you lazy bastard. We understand what's going on here. Go what great service you give these people. They give you $12 in fucking sir in tips. And super chat, super chat's a tip. Let's let's keep it real. You can call it whatever you want. That that's what it is. But he's he's a moron. And top tip, ignore the troll. What a great great streamer you are. You know, you promise to wear the hat and all that stuff for WWE champions. You take it off, and because you're hot and bothered because it's 58 degrees and fucking red, and you didn't want to wear it, and you're looking like a melted porn star from the 1972. You look like a zombie. You look like a zombie uh, melted porn star from 1972. Bill's playing incredibly tough game. He's doing his best, you know. Let's cut not good enough. Game's not easy. It doesn't get easier from here, dumbass. By the way, it looks like my internet is fluctuating again. Yo, Kevin, you're still doing this. Dude, Kevin. Okay. I'm going to be real with you. You got to fucking calm down. You seriously have to calm down now. You're the only person. Then put on the hat then. The entire stream was bothered right now. You're the only one. Then put on the hat. <laughs> Shooter McGavin did a super chaser. What's the point of a hat and vest was gonna get scammed? Shooter McGavin. McGavin, you're banned. Happy Gilmore. Wow. You just call me a scammer, you can get banned. Wow. Fucking banned. Holy shit. Shooter McGavin, you're banned. Super Chaser, what's the point of a hat and vest was going to get scammed? All right, Shooter McGavin. God. What an asshole. You know, in this scenario, his, his little restaurant would be very successful with a lot of people coming and getting banned for no reason. But, you know, you got five bucks to, ba to get banned. Get fucked, Shooter McGavin. Straight. This is Shooter's door. I've worked hard my whole life, paid my dues, and now it's Shooter's turn. And Shooter's not about to let his reign at the top be spoiled by some freak sideshow clown. Did you just call me a freak? Hmm. I was on this tour for one reason, money. But now I got a new reason, kicking your ass. Well, McGavin, you're banned. If you think you can just call me a scammer, you can get banned immediately and not come back ever. Goodbye. What a great guy. You can be banned forever. Bye. That's how you feel. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, hey, if Kevin got banned, I didn't do it, but dude, he just wouldn't have fucking let up all night. It's ridiculous. It's like if Kevin got banned, I didn't do it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna harp on that all fucking night. It's like, dude, if you're not happy, just leave, right? If you're not happy with the stream, kick off. 
don't sit here and be negative on the stream constantly the whole night. And it sucks because Kevin's a positive guy. Hey, Kevin. I got a stream you can go to. Just saying. Saying. Really positive. We'll, we'll body you probably for being a, an a-hole. But it's okay. We got you. Guy needs a supporter, but I'm not. He's ridiculously bad tonight. Like ridiculous negativity. Fall out. Ready? I don't know why the hell he's being like that either, right? Sorry, I didn't wear the hat and the vest the entire stream because I was covered in sweat. I still am now. Uh, thank you to those who actually understood instead of sitting here and bitching about it because that was incredibly obnoxious that a few people were. I have this at the floor. That was incredibly obnoxious that some people did that, um, and I'm sorry that they did. But some people, I guess, have more self-control than others. I don't know what else to say. Some people have more self-control than others. I don't know what to say. I know what to say. You're a bitch. You're a fucking, fucking bitch. And for anyone out there that thinks, oh, Phil, Phil's this and that, like, he's a bitch. That's my job, okay? That is my main concern. That is what I'm doing. I am not here to give shout outs. I am not here to put on a funny vest or a hat or put on glasses. I'm here to put out an entertaining product for free. That's what I do. That is my occupation. Okay. No, your occupation is Alki Boozer gotcha gambler that you take from wheelchairs from the stream. Basically, your occupation is you shank losers wheelchairs actual wheelchairs you shake people like this what's going on the breaking board 103 here again today and welcome to chapter six of team sonic racing this one is called the kidnapping so dr eggman's got something planned and he's gonna kidnap somebody that is not good this doesn't sound good but um I'm cautiously optimistic about these last two chapters. I hope they finish off strong with these, provide some cool stages, you know, and don't do bullshit challenges. Now, mm -hmm. because the nature of my business is put out a free product and then get crowdfunded for it. Put out a free product and get maximum profit for it, really. I mean, sometimes you get money, sometimes you don't. I mean, working in a restaurant, if your restaurant's very good and successful, like, I don't know. I'm not going to name one. To figure it out. We can, we can say Olive Garden. Let's say you're a very successful Olive Garden, and, you know, you're going to make a lot of money. But some nights you're going to have slow nights, and what if your manager came in, tell the server, and say, yo, it was a slow night, and you didn't make a lot of money, and then demands that you pay a hundred dollars to the to the olive guard you're like why do i have to pay you for a slow night it's not my fault you demand this money phil there are things that are discussed and or you know promised in, re in regards of certain rewards right mm -hmm. as i said if you contribute in any way and as long as you're abiding by the rules of the stream meaning you're not insulting me or other people you're not Fuck you, Phil. You're a fat piece of shit. You are a boozy asshole. You don't even like people. You're a sack of shit. I, you hate people. Uh, Phil, you're fat. You look like a melted candle. You look like someone that doesn't bathe. You smell like garbage and you act like one too. But you go to Fred Meyer to do electric boogaloo. You can go fuck yourself with this little thing that you have here tips reward goals and everything else you're an asshole scream it to the you have no redeeming no redeeming actions to you nothing there is nothing redeeming to you you don't understand that you are a piece of shit that there is not a single thing that we can say that is man you are well, at least fills this and that. No, you're a you are a piece of shit. Did did I stutter? Did I stutter, bitch? Did I stutter, you sack of shit? Do I did I stutter telling you how much of a wussy pussy that you are, you little baby, you little bitch? I seen tougher kids, tougher people than you. 
You're a bitch. Derailing the stream with, with discourse of like religion or politics, which you guys know I don't delve into. <clears throat> if you're using common sense and you're in line with the stuff that's going on in the stream, I'm going to give you a shout out. There are circumstances where that won't happen. Maybe I feel that what you're saying is not in line with the rules, or maybe I just don't want to discuss a certain topic that you keep bugging me about. I feel like it derails the stream. Or, very well, I might, I'm a human and I'm flawed, and I just miss it. I miss I am a human and I'm flawed. Well, there is text-to-speech, but you're too much of a bitch. Your contribution, and I didn't shout it out. But that's okay. That happens. There is no guarantee that you will get anything in regards to a reaction to a contribution. There is never a promise or contract that's laid out. It's hilarious because these idiots who try to basically defraud PayPal, they'll try to go to PayPal and they'll say, Oh, I tipped Phil on a live stream and he didn't give me a shout out, so he broke the contract and I want my money back. There's no contract. Where the fuck do you see a contract written anywhere that says that? It doesn't exist. It's not a contract, jackass. But you literally don't give these people incentives to do anything. You literally don't give them incentives. That's the problem. You tell them things like this. You're like, uh, Phil's this or Phil's that. Like, you literally need to give them stuff and free stream and then you salt them if you're not right. You're, it's really fucked up. What you do is fucked up. There's no contract between you and me because you threw me a dollar on a stream that I'm going to give you a shout out. That never existed. And I say that to PayPal and PayPal always rules in my favor. Yes, they always rule in your favor. Not even the chargebacks. Are you fucked in the head? They rule in your favor for a dollar for 48 cents. You're, char you're, you're challenging 48 cents. How much of a bitch are you? Just get back the 48 cents, Dark. So, that's what I mean. Like, these people have these crazy... You gotta forgive me. I've been... It's been a long shift. Weirdo misconception. You're a weirdo misconception. Creation and, ...and supporting that content is, okay? Now, in regards to tips... Here's what you should do as a content creator. You should, uh, you know, put out the best product you can do. You know, get your mic settings right. Get, get your stuff right, you know. and. Talk to your audience, see how they are, and hope for the best. I don't walk into Texas Roadhouse or any place, you know, hoping to God that I get the maximum today. I, I, I think I'm going to get a good payday today, but you know what? doesn't matter. And also, you know, you're supposed to make your stream happy. You, you are a miserable fuck every day. You don't want to do this anymore. You really don't. You honestly are an asshole to everyone. You're not anyone's friend. You're an asshole to people. And that's your problem. Every time we hear you, you're like, uh, I don't want to be friends with that person. You have to make connections with people. That's what makes streaming great. That's what makes this livable. The stream and the streamers, you know, if I stream, people are there to talk to me and I'm there to talk to them. You are like, they talk to me and what do you give them? I don't care about that, about Perry. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. I haven't watched this. I don't give a fuck about this. Pay attention to the game while I'm failing. Oh, do you like this? Or do you like that? I don't care for that. You're an asshole. Rewards and stuff like that. Tiered rewards. Okay. Tiered rewards. Yeah. Is that in exchange for a certain level of support on a stream, I will do something to say thanks whether yeah but you could do way more you could do way more you could have exclusive videos you could literally do a video like your weekend preview for for the channel for the for members you could literally do that you're not you could bring back the weekend preview for them but you're not because you're a bitch you could do that you could do a lot of things you could even that would be good for them like, if you did exclusive content for them to sub, you would have more people. It's put on glasses, put on a hat, put on a vest. But, as always, these things are always going to be directly dependent on, number one, the safety of me and the, st and the stream itself. The safety of me. What a bitch. The safety. Go wear a diaper, you 
fucking baby. The safety of me. The fuck are they going to do, Phil? You baby. The safety of me. Yeah, you're a safety queen. My job here is done. She splits the scene. Another non-adventure for... Safety Queen! Safety! What a bitch. The quality of the stream itself, and the... The quality of the stream itself is absolute shit. You don't... You never upgraded your capture once. Yeah, it's not in HDR, and it looks like garbage. Fact that it's not going to hinder the content that I'm putting out. As I've told you guys many times over the years, I'm not just going to do something that's going to ruin the level of the content I'm putting out. Your content's already ruined. It, it really is. I mean, your content's already fucking garbage on a stick. We're not going to go. It's, it's garbage. And I don't know why you think it's so good. It's like putting, I don't know, gravel into, into food or whatever. It's fucking garbage. And... And it's gotten worse over the years. It wasn't good ever, but it's gotten worse. LTG is a sexy man. $30, he'll turn on his webcam. When someone says put on the fucking Sonic hat or the Yoshi hat or whatever, okay? I'm not going to do that because I can't even concentrate on the game if I'm wearing a giant stuffed fucking hat and my, <laughs> my head is sweating profusely. I'm never going to make progress in a game. I'm going to feel sick, you know? Oh, fuck off, Phil. You're going to feel sick. All right. The giant Yoshi hat can't play a game. So I'm not going to do that. So in particular, I think the reason that Snowcrawl's asking this is because last night on the Monkey Ball stream, as I said, I was completely destroyed by this email. Ready? There it is. I'm not getting very far on the stage, and I'm completely covered in sweat. I'm going to have to take all this stuff off. Yay! And lead made it. Right. Ooh. I'm so... There it is. What the... Fuck. Oh. Fall out, fall out. Ready? Go! Taking it off for a bit. <laughs> uh, we'll s- for a bit since I'm soaked in sweat. Oh no, it's not that long. I feel like a focus would beat this stage. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're entering our second hour of Monkey Ball. I am covered in sweat from wearing the vest and the hat. And- This is great. Uh, I threw it off onto the floor in agitation because I'm so disgustingly sa saturated, okay? Yeah, you are. This stage, Bitch. The bracelet stage, is so difficult. And my body- Hey, Phil. Newsflash, it doesn't get easier from here. It's harder. It's harder. Way harder. Temperature is ramping up because I'm trying to beat it- and Ramping I'm up. I'm on edge. Every time I, I take a run, I'm on edge, you know, my blood pressure is going up trying to do it and I'm wearing the platinum vest and the cowboy hat and I'm not kidding. I was soaked in sweat, soaked, my back soaked. completely saturated wet, my hat, I had a pool of sweat around the band of the hat on my forehead. Ew. Ew. And I'm trying to wipe, my hair is wet, it's matted to my head, I'm wiping out my, I can't concentrate. I'm never going to beat this stage at this rate. I can't even fucking pay attention to what I'm doing. Hey, Phil, you're not going to be any stage. They get four times harder. Doing. So I took this stuff off and I explained to everyone. I said, guys, I got to take it off. It is what it is. You know, I've worn it for, for a bit. I got to take it off because I'm concentrating on the stage. Okay. And then you get people, right? Then you get people who... Then you get people. Literally sit here. And instead of paying attention to the stream or interacting with me in a positive way, where's the vest? Where interacting with you in a positive manner. I'm not being positive with you. You're an asshole. A positive manner. Fuck you, you baby. Positive manner. And your decaffeinated gang and your people that, whatever. Whatever. Where's the hat? Where is it? Why is there no it might It might not be you, actually, but I'm, I'm going to blame you anyway. No vest. Why is there no hat? We're owed the vest and hat. Where is it? Here's the truth. Ready Kevin, you're doing a super- There it is. Screaming about the fucking hat and vest. Did I not talk about it on stream or were you not here? Like, seriously. I was sweating profusely. My back right now is completely soaked in sweat. 
I'm trying to play an incredibly difficult game. Maybe for once, just relax for a fucking second. Uh, editor's note, I didn't know Ann Lee put this in here. That's all. And allow me to try to beat this very, 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 very difficult stage. And stop screaming about the hat and vest and relax. And have a good time with the stream. The content of the stream is not man in hat and vest, it's Phil playing games. Yeah, Phil playing games badly and poorly. Kevin again is asking for the vest. Okay, I gotta ask, I gotta be honest with Kevin. Kevin, you noticed something, right? You're the only person on the stream talking about this. You realize this, right? You're literally the only person who's bringing it up. <laughs> I don't understand why it's such a big deal to you. But what is the big deal? Also, you made $300. You better fucking wear it, you bitch. With the vest. Like, really. I wear the vest all the time. No, you don't. The, this is the first time you get vested in a little bit. Well, instead of that, that, uh, that 1100 stream that, of that kid, but whatever. Wear the vest, you bitch. Soon enough, all those all those tips and all that stuff that you crave for a WWE gotcha will definitely be drying up and going elsewhere. Almost every fucking stream ever that we hit the tips go, I wear it, no problem. It's not an issue. Tonight's a problem because I was covered in sweat. I'm doing an incredibly difficult game. We couldn't tell if it's covered in sweat because you look terrible. You look terrible, Phil. Why is this a big deal? Ready? I don't know, Phil. Why is it a big deal? Like, you're the only one. I just don't get it. Yo, Kevin, you're still doing it. Dude, Kevin. Okay. I'm gonna be real with you. You're yeah. <sighs> I didn't know he was gonna put that in there, but... You get contacts. You get the aqua teal and you get this one. That's cool by me. Yeah. You don't care about the stream. All you care about is some kind of like personal weirdo demand, some weird entitlement. Personal weirdo demand. In your head that for some reason, because we reached a certain level of support, you're owed a vest you're owed wrong with you and i mean that like you got something wrong with you if you think that that is the actual focus of my streams putting this is not phil's vest no the focus of the stream is i need money give me money give me more money give me all your money fuck sell 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 your nintendo sell your xbox sell everything so i can have my gotcha polls you're right phil it's all about your little gin and your little addictions and all that shit. Your content is old. Your content is bad. You never change your shit at everything. And you treat people poorly. And what is this stream about? It sure ain't about games. It's not about your ego. It is about anything else. Get fucked, Phil. Get fucked. Fuck you and your little streamy thing over here where you're darting and talking out your side like this, you get fucked with this thing. Vest and hat stream. Vest and hat stream. Play stream. Which is absolute garbage. Absolute Phil garbage gameplay streamer. Right? As long as no. I'm playing a game and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do progress you know, in a game, that I'm doing my job, right? You do your job very poorly. If I did my job very for, poorly, I'll be fired. But you somehow get get to live in a nice house in a gated community with a wife that we never hear about, and you're still fucking up when when people like this. What's going on? The Brickboard 103 here again today, and welcome to Fortnite Mares. Coming through YouTube, of course, I see detractor videos. They all have no lives. They make two thousand views on a video on you. Yeah, we make views on you. We have more views than you because we're more entertaining. At the end of the day, we are way more entertaining. You want to know why detractor content, X bottles, I'll put them in there, and Aqua Teal, Hate Army, and the rest, Cinco Floor. Well, they make better views than me, but that's not the point. Super Crazy, can't forget about Super Crazy, Almighty Tevin, LSB back in the day. You know why? Because they do a good job. They do a fantastic job 
kicking your candy ass. And I can't forget, I can't forget Blooper, Hate Army Watch, the list goes on and on. GTG Network and Production, their views on you are higher than your shitty views on DSP Gaming. You can go fuck yourself, Phil. And they make a non-DSP video that only gets five views. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's what I, well, th this is the problem. I, I hate to say it, this is a major problem with YouTube. Getting actual legitimate positive content to get noticed is impossible. You don't deserve positive content. You're an asshole. The only stuff that get noticed that's get noticed on YouTube is incredibly immature, insulting, dramatic kind of content. Stuff that You're right, Phil. That's why I'm doing terrible. Has no quality to it all, and in a lot of cases, is very hurtful. That's what gets noticed on YouTube, and YouTube does absolutely. You literally banned a person by asking putting on a vest because you're an asshole nothing to fix their site to make sure that that shit doesn't trend that's like saying it's okay for anything anything toxic to trend it's like do you really want that to be your whole business and they do apparently because they've done if i'm the old school phil if people wanted to body me or whatever they can come body me you you ban them because you're a bitch i let people talk they don't have to like me if they want to say something i have something to say back talk shit get hit nothing over the years to fix it they just continuously let the worst kind of content i just hate the people that say veiled things like "Ooh, stop streaming dsp stop talking about them like dude we're from the oldest school you have to you have to hit me with with the fucking titanic if you want to fucking take me out like just call me loser is not going to it's not going to cut it you have to hit me with the queen mary like it's not going to be that easy It really not. It's not going to be that easy. And trend top above legitimate people, you know. There will be anything. Look, for, I'll give you an example. Robert Downey Jr. Okay. Put out a million amazing movies. He could put out original funny content for YouTube. If there's a video of Robert Downey Jr. getting arrested, that fucking video will get 5 billion views on YouTube. And yeah, because he got arrested. I mean, R. Kelly did some fucked up things and, you know. And he went to jail. We just gonna just pretend he didn't go to jail? And that's the only video you'll ever find on YouTube of Robert Downey Jr. if you search. Well, depending on who it is, you know. Bill Cosby's out of jail and Cosby Show, you can find it and watch it if you want. I mean, there's a lot of people that went to jail and did things. Here's Martha Stewart. Now she's with Snoop Dogg. Doing cooking shows. Went to jail. Got bigger because she went to jail. For him. That's how YouTube works. It only no that's not how YouTube works you make it sound like YouTube's a negative machine it's not favors the toxic it only favors nasty shit so when you say oh these people who talk about me they make a video that gets a few thousand views and then when they try to do something otherwise they you're just bitter because we get our content gets watch time and yours don't ha ha maybe you do better content stop being a bitch get no attention that's why they they have figured out that all they can do to get attention is be nasty and be disgusting and be negative. That's it. They can't. Hey, Phil, if you think we're so nasty and negative, why don't you talk to us? You're not because you're a bitch. Actually get noticed for anything else. So they continue to be nasty, you know, whatever works for them to get popular because they don't care about who they hurt. Whatever works for them to get popular. Um, I have been doing YouTube for over 13 years and you've been doing YouTube for 13 years and you suck at it. You suck at it. You literally suck. You don't know how YouTube works. You don't even care how it works. You literally put out your pewy little archive videos and go, hey everyone, Dark Side Phil here. Uh, I'm playing Far Cry 6. And they get 700 views maybe. And they get all the thumbs down because you don't know how this works. Because, you know, these people actually put good good editing skills good time into your shitty product that you could have raked in these views actually rake them in but not not you you you, you give them to other people they do the work that you don't want to do this is your content you say right how come your content and and me and everyone else that we can benefit from it but the person is not benefiting is you the person that you can say that we're trolls and we get more views 
on you. And you know what? We're not going to gatekeep, but it's it, it's one of those things that you put out the content. Very little people watch the archive. They only watch the video uh, when it's live and give you money because that's all you give a fuck about. And we make, I don't know, some people make money. I'm not going to speak who or not. I'm not going to say what they should do, but I'm not going to gatekeep that. Because, you know, that's fine. If you can make money off doing this, we can make money doing this as well. And if you want some, come get some, you bitch. And I can make a living doing fun content here. Uh oh, yeah, this is fucking great fun content. This is great. Great fun content. Really positive and great. Fuck you. Um, which is great. I'm very happy that I can do positive content and not have to do the toxic shit like these losers. Um, and I the toxic shit like these losers. Um, yeah, if you're not noticing by the video, I actually have a house again, which is great. And um, to celebrate that, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour, 24 hour charity stream. And um, I plan on doing a charity stream every day for the next 30 days after the day. Today is Thanksgiving, so I'm starting it on Thanksgiving. Uh, as you see on this side, we have the donation link and the goal list. I'm going to be adding stuff to that based on what random shit I think of and what random shit people give me ideas to do. Uh, what else we got here? We got the timer up above me at the top there. Obviously, I'm going to restart that. Day one is going to be um, the American Red Cross disaster. I forget the word. I set it up last night. I forgot already. But day one is going to be that. And um, I'm going to have different ones every day. Wow, Tevin did charity screams, but where are the fuckers? I don't understand what the fuck people are saying or doing, what they're thinking. If they're going to say stuff like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm absolutely owed this. I'm entitled to this. Like, what the fuck? Where are you? Where do you even come off acting like that on a stream? Like, that's ridiculous behavior. And there were people who were doing that. And it was like, what the fuck is your problem? You know, that is not the point of the stream. And the, the other funny part about that, of course, of course, the people complaining didn't contribute. The people who were the people who contributed, actually, one of them outright said, I don't even care if you wear the vest or hat. God, Phil. God. Just give them what they want. God, you're such a whiny little bitch about everything. Give them what they want, Phil. I'm a major contributor tonight. I'm just here to support you. Do your thing, Phil. But it's these people who want to sit here entitled. You didn't even contribute, and you're going to sit here and bitch that there's no vest or hat. Like, Dude, they're there for the stream. You should listen to them. They're, they're, they're the audience. Just because they didn't contribute, they're still there. I mean, <laughs> literally, they're still part of the, the product. Like, do you understand you look like a little petulant child? You are the petulant child. You are the petulant child. You can go fuck off, Phil. And you're, see, you seem so just ridiculously over the top, demanding and entitled and ungrateful, honestly. Ungrateful. Just ridiculously over the top, demanding. Holy shit. Entitled. Good job, Elite. Fucking love this. You're ungrateful. Isn't it ironic that I'm the guy? You are. Someone who has, I've been doing this for 13 years. <laughs> okay, Phil, they should just be grateful you exist and put on, put out stuff that also exists. I agree. Also, your shit that you put out is shit, and you're so entitled and so bougie that you don't even see down. Dude, dude, I, dude, I work at a job, and I do my thing and all that stuff, and I hope for the best. You don't. You think that this content that you put out is such great masterpieces, and they're not. They're not masterpieces. There are piles of dog shit that 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 wheelchairs literally give you money for. And we don't get it. And that's why we're here to understand why these wheelchairs give you giant pile of money for this dog shit. Because it's not good content. Never was. And here we are. 
I'm here six days a week full time. I'm playing an incredibly difficult game. Okay, fuck you, dude. Fuck you, DSP. You're here six days a week full time. What is full time? You stream for five hours and then you take a break at seven. Then there's three hours there. And then you come back around 10 for two hours. Then you leave. Like literally it's three hours in the day stream, two hours at night. So you do five hours of gameplay stream, 30 hours. So you do 30 hours of gameplay a, uh, a night. And then you have a two hour pre-stream. If you cut out the pre you really should go from, well, by the time you get on stream, it is three o'clock, maybe two o'clock my time. A lot of times I forget that it's like 11. So you get on around 11 o'clock and you start talking for two hours about bullshit. And then by the time it's three o'clock, I'm already tired. I'm already tired of your bullshit. And then, and then you're going to start gaming like that. Like, no, it's just like what this gentle this guy said uh sorry it's it's bullshit it's bullshit it's what we all been saying but you literally waste everyone's time you really could just talk during in game you could just unrecord it and talk during in game but you're not for me i don't want to waste anyone's time that's why we get to the game quick that's what we don't do starting soon we get to the game quick so a lot of times when people join, it's literally we're we're in game now. And or a few minutes to get to game. For you, it takes two hours to get to game because you have to do your little stupid little pre-stream and all that stuff. And when everyone's all all in and settled in, and then we get the flow of the the stream, it, and then you stop it. Like a stream should be about the game and how good it is. We, I try not to have a set schedule. I understand today I, I had an hour before work and played a little Fortnite to say, hey, everyone, I'm going to play a little Fortnite, had a little hour and all that stuff. But here you are bitching and moaning about, but you existing. Yeah, you exist, but you also don't do good content. You don't sit around and actually go, you know what? I'll go longer tonight. We did, I think this weekend, I did a 12 hour one and a five hour one. I did your your five hour pre-stream one early. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a small little reset break. And then we did 12 hours. We did a 17 hour one last week. Put in the work, actually put in the actual, actual work of this stuff. You don't care. You don't care about putting in the actual work. I got no background here in monkey ball at all. I'm trying to make progress. I don't want. Yeah, it's hard. I'm not saying it ain't bullshit. I want to sit here and play this, this stage for four days. I mean, I don't want you to play this day, this stage for four days, but somehow you are. I want to beat it. I yeah, you want to beat it, all right, but it doesn't get easier from here, Phil. I'm sweating. I'm completely soaked yep. in sweat, right? Soaked in sweat. You don't think that it's in my best interest to maybe not wear a fucking vest that's going to make me continuously sweat harder and probably make my body temperature go up higher and probably make me feel sick? Do you not care? Because if you don't, you shouldn't be here. Wow, Phil. What a you really are just telling people leave, leave. Please leave. Uh you are just ban, 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 gone forever. Why do people come to your stream and give you money? Why did Brick Boy try to do a fucking cheer war with you? This is how you don't stream. And we'll win in the you know, it's just saying. Oh, Phil, I would say, you know what? Keep doing what you're doing. It's working. If you don't care about the streamer you're watching, don't watch them. Go do something else with your time. Hey, Phil, you're supposed to convince these people to watch you. You literally got too comfortable with this. A lot of us have to struggle and scrape and actually get, you know, viewers on Twitch and all that stuff. And some people don't get viewers. They try their best and their hardest. And, you know, because of the algorithm and all that stuff, you got lucky. People watched you in, in 2012 and getting bigger and all that stuff because they liked you for reasons. And now this is how you repay them. This is how you literally do this. And for the people that just get off work, you know what? Some of the best people or workers, they go to work and they say, you know, they say to me, you know, hey, we like your longer streams because get us through our work day and that's how it should be tevin got me through my work day many times you didn't you didn't 
and it's nice to get people through their work day and talk to them and you know and and be there you know make them and make them entertained for their work day so they can feel good about themselves you know isn't that important that when people go to work when they pack they park their little car and they go in their little cubicle or whatever they do and they have their little stream on and you tell them to go fuck themselves don't be a fucking dick who's only here because you got some kind of a vested interest in someone you know having something bad happen to them like god what is wrong with you phil like you're fucked up in the head you're really, fucked I up in it. the head you're fucked up in the head if you're watching the stream because you want to see someone get hurt essentially like what the fuck is wrong wow man get hurt you you are a bitch What's wrong with you okay so that's the deal and this is oh by the way this is not rocket science this is not something that yeah but you treat it like it is it's never been discussed before this has always been this way content content creation is the same for everyone this is not just me every online content creator is the same okay but for some reason you know we get an except by the way how often does this happen that we'll hit a goal and i won't i won't do the reward or i interrupt the reward dude you take forever to get the reward sometimes Sometimes it takes you five minutes, ten minutes to put on a vest. So you can fuck off with that. Almost never. I was wearing the vest during the middle of the summer, right? When it was like 80, 90 degrees in this office, I was wearing vests and hats, right? This is one exception to the rule where I'm doing something that's so difficult that it's actually... So you can take off the vest if, and hat if it's difficult? Bitch. Actually making my body temperature heat up. And I'm sweating profusely, and I'm like, I need to just not do this for now for my own good, right? And it's like, if you don't understand that, I'm sorry. You're just a fucking idiot. You're an immature moron. If you don't understand that, you're a fucking idiot, immature moron. And you wonder why you're a failure. Who's only here to be a dickhead, and I don't watch you on my stream then. And before people go like, he has 192 subs, and he makes all this money, still a failure. Still a failure. Doesn't matter how much of it it is, you know? I mean, this stream and all that stuff, getting money for showers and all that stuff, still a failure. Seriously, if that's your, your purpose, then leave. Don't come back. Because I'm here to put out positive, fun content. I'm not here to put... From where he was and where he is, failure. And act like an idiot. Dance around like a fucking clown, feeling sick, passing out on fucking stream because you think you're. Wow, what a person that you are unhealthy if you have to pass out on stream like this, Phil. Maybe you should, you know, stop. Maybe you should go see a doctor. Oh, you don't believe in those. Oh, maybe you should go to. Oh, you don't believe in gyms either because cats getting pipe laid by the gym at the gym and Tyrone. Come on, ride the train. And right, woo, woo, come on, ride the train. Right, woo, woo. Entitled to something that you're not, and you're just a. F Entitled to something that you're not. You're the one that's put on these vests, man. You're the one that promised this stuff, not me. You. Fucking piece of shit. You know? Fuck off. Don't come back. Fuck off and don't come back. Real positive there, Phil. Real positive, man. It's that simple. It's that it's simple. Been like that. This is not something that's changed recently. It's always been like that. Like I said, it's this is the exception to the rule that I would not be doing a vest or hat reward. It was a one-off thing, a bad situation, right? I'm trying to make the best of the bad situation, and people want to then take that take shots at me. Well, guess what? It didn't work, stupid. <laughs> it didn't work. Okay. So again, you got problems with that? Fine, leave. You don't have to be here. Really. No, really, I mean it. You Fine, leave. You don't have to be here. No, really. You're real positive. You don't have to be here. And try you to don't have to be here. Fun that all of us are having on my streams. God, Phil. <laughs> you sound like one of those people that literally, you are a gatekeeper. Hey, you are fucking horrible. You, of course, know Nadine and Gatrinka, but please meet Rex Smythe Higgins III. 
There's cucumber sandwiches and lady fingers on the buffet. Help yourself. Thanks. I've been to England, too. My second cousin lives there. She's a duchess of some kind. She's actually... Hey, Arnold. Hey, Park. Hey, Peapod. Having any fun? Not really. We're just pretending to eat for a while. You know, there are many people here, my regulars are here, to have a good time, mm -hmm. to relax, to enjoy mm -hmm. games, to see me persevere in a situation like the situation I'm currently in right now in Monkey Ball. Hey, hey, Phil. Uh, it, get, it only gets harder from here. I can't even. But it only gets harder from here, bitch. They don't give a fuck if I'm wearing a vest while I do it or not. Right? It's nice to do something silly like that for the viewers. But it's not a mandatory thing. Right? So, grow the fuck up. If you're you grow the fuck up. You're here for the wrong reasons. I, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You gotta, you gotta fucking wise up sooner or later. And really wise up sooner or later. Everyone together having a good time. And if I'm getting actually physically ill, sweating and feeling sick because I'm wearing a vest and a hat. Oh my God. He's literally saying he's getting physically ill by wearing a vest and a hat. A vest and a hat. How pathetic. I'm going to take it off. And if you don't get that and you think that's not acceptable, you're in the wrong place. You're if you don't the Bill, you should wear it. You know, look, of course. You know how some people used to be Chuck E. Cheese and other things that they wear that are billion degrees and all that stuff. You're a fuck. You're in a controlled room with an air conditioner and all that shit. You could turn that on or a fan like that guy said. You know, there's a lot of people that have to wear things that are very hot and sweaty and they have to keep wearing it. I'm just saying there's some people that. And, and you're bitching and moaning about getting sick over a hat and a vest. Pathetic, baby. The best interest of the streamer in mind <clears throat> when you're watching their content, you shouldn't be watching their content. There you go. Okay? You shouldn't be watching their content. Cool. This is not something that's all the time. This is every once in a while a rarity will occur. Something that, you know, okay, an extenuating circumstance, right? Great. Then understand, please understand that, right? I'm here six days a week full time. Every time we hit a goal, I do the reward. This is the first time in how long that we I decided temporarily not to do it. And by the way, by the end of the stream, I had the vest and the hat back on again, right? Because I could, because I was feeling better by the end of the stream. I was able to do it. But again, if you have an issue with that, go fuck yourself. I don't want you on my streams. I don't want your time. I don't want your support. I want you gone. Because if you don't care about me and you actually want me to hurt myself so you can get a laugh, you can go fuck yourself and never come back. There's my take on it. <laughs> okay. Snow Girl to the dollar fifty says, I agree with you. I think this is another aspect of Tut Syndrome. Notice how only people who demand you do certain things are either trolls who want to hurt you in the stream or people who think that money makes them the owner of the stream. I think that to some people, I hate to say it, that, that does become part of it. I don't think that's the entirety of it. I think what it is is people just become used to something. It, they Again, they th they see it as cause and effect transactional. I did this, and then this happened, right? Oh. Bill, a transaction. If someone, someone did, they super chatted me and said, Hi, play monkey ball. Hi, play monkey ball. Here's 10 bucks. And I did. I played monkey ball for a little bit. You know, gave them what they want. Give them what they want, Phil, in bounds of reason. You literally don't give them. You make excuses to not do this. Oh, Phil made $50, he puts on gunner glasses. Phil made $100, he puts on hat. You see? If that doesn't... You, you say that every day. You go like, hey, if we hit the tips goal, I put on the gunner glasses at 50. I put on a hat at, at 100. Vest at 150. But if you're not going to do it, then what's the fucking point? Happen then that feels weird or wrong to them. And that I, that part of it, I can understand. Okay, this is weird because Phil had a very supportive stream, but he's not doing the reward stuff. You know, I can understand that part of it. What I don't understand is that it's explained to you, you know, I don't feel good. I'm, I'm sweating profusely. I'm actually... Then stop the stream. No one's forcing you to keep streaming to 12. Then stop the stream. Stop being a bitch and stop the stream, but you're not because you're an asshole. Not feeling good at all. You know, I, I, I need to take this vest and hat off so I can continue to play and not feel sick and pass out. 
And I explain that to my viewing audience and we still have people who are sitting here for an hour bitching about it and complaining and saying that I'm not living up to my promises. It's like, you're You're not living up to your promises. You're, you're a mess. You're drunk every stream. You're a mess. You're a fucking mess. Fucking asshole. No, really. If you can't get over it, you're an asshole. You're a mean drunk. No wonder you live in a gated community. People could just deck you. You don't care about me, you know? <laughs> what is with addicts? I mean, Jenna said the same thing. What the fuck is with addicts saying, if you don't do blank, you don't care about me? Phil, it's not that I don't care about you. I do care about you. I know, weird. You're just an asshole about it. I'm just being vicious about it. But that's okay. I do, you know, why would I do videos and say to other people, hey, man, this guy's an alky. I don't like you at all. Doesn't mean I don't have to care for it, but you don't care for yourself either. Why should we care more for you if you don't care for your damn self? Because you don't. You look like a melted candle. You look terrible. You show up work looking terrible, wasted every day, insulting people, being terrible. Literally, no, you, you have no friends. Your wife doesn't even want to be around you. You go shopping at Fred Meyer alone. You live a miserable life. You get off stream playing WWE champions. What's there to envy? The house? So, no, I don't think... Uh, now, yes, are there some people who feel entitled? I do believe that there are people. You are entitled. But the thing is... That's not what happened last night. There was like one or two people who were contributing constantly to the stream last night, which were the reason why we hit the goals. And one of them literally said, I don't care about the rewards. I'm here to support you. I want you to just have a good stream. They literally said that. I'm one of the main people supporting you tonight. I don't care. They weren't the one who was bitching, of course. But the other guy paid $10. You should have put on the vest. If you're going to put on a vest and do this, you should put on the vest. You're being a bitch. You see? Alex to me a dollar fifty says, Why is it everything you do in life has some monumental difficulty you can't overcome and hinders you in your progress? Ironically, I hope you know human beings do a great job to adapt and overcome. You should be more optimistic. Yeah, Phil doesn't adapt or overcome. He just doesn't. Optimistic in my opinion. I don't know what you mean, Alex. Um if anything, I would say the opposite. That a ton of opposition and, and adversity gets thrown my way and I always And you literally cry at it and don't do anything phil i had so much opposition in my life i thought i would never have a driver's license i have one i never thought i would see a day that i i could drive a car i would never see a day that i thought that i would meet so many wonderful people streaming to people i never thought that but here we are i never thought i would make content on an asshole like you but here we are but you know what? I wouldn't meet these wonderful people if you wasn't such a jackass. But you know what? You're, you're such a weak-minded sack of shit that when things get in your way, you literally cry about it. You don't tear down these walls. You build more walls. You don't build bridges. You don't build connections to make your content better. You're a man on an island alone. Alone. Trying to shank wheelchairs for money and all that stuff. You don't care for these people. You really don't care for their money. You don't care for their lives. You don't care what, what they do. You don't care about their, their, uh, their families. You don't care about what they do and how they do it or, or life advice or any of that stuff. You know, on my streams, you know, people come, we talk about you and we talk about, you know, Jenna, we talk about all that stuff. We talk about life. We talk about all kinds of stuff. We talk about video games, all that stuff. The things you say you talk about. But when you, anytime I see a clip of you talking about something, it says, I don't care and I don't care for it. Because you don't care. And you don't care for it. You can go fuck off, Phil. You seem to persevere through it. That's one of the things that people have told me over the years that they actually like about me is that I don't give up. I mean, how many... No, you don't give up, but you totally gave up. Hi, Phil. I, what I like about you is you're still here and pumping out garbage. That's probably the only thing they like about you. Everything else is bad. Hi, I show up and play garbage gameplay and I'm here. I mean, I mean, yeah. You don't evolve. 
How many times have I run into this fucking shit? You know? YouTube's screwing me over. Twitch is screwing me over. Blip TV screwing me over. Hey, Phil, real people get screwed over by a lot of things. Wings lost his DoorDash. You know, he's going to go haul trailers or something. People lose their jobs and all that stuff, and they figure things out. They get better, and they th figure it out. They uh, literally, one door closes, another one opens. And this is your last door on the, if YouTube literally demonetizes you, this is it, Phil. This is it. You're done. There, you know, you could go to DLive, but you're done. And that's the thing. Your back's against the ropes and you expect maximum profit. This is it. This is the, the last train to nowhere. And you're, you're too entitled and to your ego can't take it. You literally can't see down. You're too bougie to see what's happening. That the detractors and all of us, we got the views, like you say. We're getting there. You're not. You're not getting there. Iron sharpens iron. You're dull. Over False copyright strikes. False this, false that. Claims against you. This or that. People slandering you. People stealing your content. This is how you don't play. Now, you're, now you're, they say this. Now they say this. Now you can't get your videos shown up on YouTube anymore. Because everything there on you is negative in the search and you can't, no discoverability and blah, blah, blah. YouTube changing their algorithm, screws you over. You know, a million things. I could sit here probably for three hours straight and tell you about the shit that fucked me over. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But I didn't, No, I don't. I just keep going. And people tell me all the time that they find that as motivating to them. Because they think if I can keep going, then they can keep going in the shit that they, they... Yeah, but here's the thing. You literally start and stop. Like, I'm glad they find motivation in you because we find motivation. We all do in different ways. And it ain't because of the motivation that you show up every day. I mean, that's great and all. I mean, that, that's, half, that's half the job, you showing up and turning on a stream and doing that stuff. But it's also the little things. I can show up at my job every day at Texas at, at my job and do a terrible job. Doesn't mean that I'm, that I'm great. Or I could show up to my to my job and do a great job. That would be better. You do a terrible job. You know, sometimes because of the bus, because I'm broken poor, because I'm not like Dark Side Phil who drives a 2017 Corolla and it's to buy his little stupid booze. Sometimes I'm a little late. And you know what people do when they're a little late? They work a little they work a lot harder to make up lost ground. So the people that notice don't don't get too mad because if you show up lazy and a little late you're gonna get real mad at you and some days you show up real late and you're real lazy you never actually had to put in an actual ounce of hard working your whole life not even in streaming you never actually worked yourself to the point where when head meets pillow you're sleeping that's the problem with you phil you show up you upload your videos and that's it. And they get shitty views. And you think like, oh my God, I am so great. These videos are great. Why don't you watch some of these, Phil? I know you watch some of these, but you should really watch them. And some people are making better content with, with your stuff. And, and you wonder why you're left behind. Because you're a dinosaur. You're a dinosaur. Suffer in their own lives every day. You know what I mean? You're a dinosaur. Good night, dinosaur. I'm not even going to say my, my normal spiel and all that shit. You know what to do. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Become a real man and stop being a bitch.